Hi, my name is Tamara, and you are watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Hello, hello, thank you so much for joining me again today. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I am not a professional anything except artist, but I have learned there are a number of things around my house and out in my yard and on my cars that I can do myself and often save myself time, money, and aggravation. So I hope you have saved those things now too. Today, we are going to talk about gas lanterns, mostly how to clean them. Obviously, the first thing we want to do is go over what we're going to need today, but even before that, we definitely want to turn the gas off on this lantern. So open your, your door for your lantern and turn the gas off because we want this to cool down because, you know, fire hot. Now that you have your lantern turned off, let's go over the things that we're going to need today. First of all, you are going to need something to get your lantern apart. So probably a good stout pair of pliers will do it, either regular pliers or channel locks or maybe both. You definitely want to have a rag towel to uh, pad these with because you don't want to grab a bare metal part on your lantern and turn it with these because obviously you'll leave scratches unless you're just wanting to scratch it for some reason. You're going to need the tiniest little bottle brush you've ever seen. Um, if you have a heavier buildup, um, you may need to have something a little more rigid to go down inside of the lantern. So I have a skewer just in case. If it gets really bad, you can also soak it in water, but hopefully you won't need to do that. You're going to need something to vacuum the bugs out of the center of this. So I have a little vacuum here. You can use a shop vac. That's normally what I would use, but mine is indisposed doing other things at the moment. So I have a regular vacuum. You may need, depending on how bad, how dirty your lantern is, you may need to have a, an air compressor and perhaps one of these little, I don't, actually know what this attachment to the air compressor is called, but it's the one that when you're a kid you like to, you know, shoot the air at your face and make funny faces and whatever. So don't do that. It's actually very dangerous. You are going to need to have something to clean the glass. So my preference here is a microfiber cloth and some club soda. Any old brand will do. Um, it's a good gentle cleaner for glass and if you have copper or you know whatever kind of metal just plain steel whatever this won't damage it or make it turn funny colors so that's why i prefer it over say windex or something like that and last but not least you need to be able to relight your lantern to make sure that you have either matches or a lighter of some sort available i think that's it let's get started i just want to show you all really quick the inside of this particular lantern. This is the part here that we're going to be wanting to get off. Make sure that yours is cool. Um, mine is. I already checked it before I'd burn my fingers off. All that I'm going to do, you see how there's this um, sort of flat spot right here? That's so that you can grab it with a pair of pliers. I'm going to take and wrap my rag right here. I'm going to grab it with my pliers. And it's kind of awkward. I hope you can see it and it's starting to turn. And this should not be really tight in there. It should just be like hand tight. So since our gas is right here, this is why from here up turns because if this whole thing turned, then the gas would just spew freely and we do not want that to happen. So it was just a quarter turn to say beyond hand tight, which is pretty good. Now that I have this little piece off, I want to separate the top portion from this so that I have a straight shot to be able to clean any soot out of that area. So this is going to be super awkward because I'm trying to do this where y'all can see, but I'm using the channel locks to hold onto the grooves on this piece, again, through the towel. And then I am going to attempt to grab these flat areas that look like, say, a little nut with my uh, pliers and also through the towel. So we'll see how this works out. If you're doing this on a tabletop or something, it would be much easier. But I think, that's ridiculous. I think I might've gotten it. 
Yes, I did. Okay, so it was, again, just a little bit beyond hand tight, which is all that it should be. So this is the main piece that typically gets clogged up with soot, which I know it seems crazy, right? You have a gas lantern, but it still gets very sooty. So this is what usually needs to be cleaned. And I'm hoping that y'all can see that there is actually some buildup right around here. It's not terrible, but there is a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if just sticking my little bottle brush in here will take care of it. It looks like it is. This would be a point though where if you had a really bad buildup, you might want to go ahead and shoot some compressed air through here. Yeah, that came pretty clean. And that is all there is to that. Now let's get the other little piece that fits on here. And while we can't run the bottle brush through that quite the same, we can go ahead and stick it in there as far as possible. And you might want to also just take it, just kind of brush off around this little area up here. But this doesn't typically get clogged here. Now, if you have a really terrible clog, because say it's been years since this was cleaned, you can actually soak it in, say, a water and baking soda solution, just really gentle. Don't use anything corrosive on any of the parts and make sure that once you've soaked it and gotten it clean that you do spray it out with compressed air to clean everything out of it and dry everything off before you consider it finished. So before I start putting things back together, I am gonna go ahead and clean the glass and clean out the bugs before I put stuff back in there just because there's nothing to get in my way so it's a lot easier. And what I like to do is just go ahead and actually dump out some club soda onto my cloth rather than dumping it directly onto the glass. If you have a spare sprayer, you could also totally use that. We're gonna go ahead and put this back together in the exact opposite way that we took it apart. I'm sure y'all saw that I had to use this towel in addition to my microfiber cloth. I should have actually had two cloths to help me clean that thing up. It was a lot dirtier than I thought. So I'm holding this with my channel locks. I'm holding, the, holding it by the indentations here. I'm gonna go ahead and hand tighten this end on initially. And then I'm gonna put this towel over the end hopefully, and give it a little quarter turn just to give it that final tighten that it had earlier. Same thing here, we wanna go just a tiny bit beyond hand tight. So we will hand tighten this down first. Screws in pretty easily. And then I'm gonna wrap it. And I'm gonna use my pliers and I'm gonna take it just that tiny, it's not even a quarter turn, just enough to where it is lined up the way that it was before, which is where the slit on the end here is parallel to the front of the lantern. I think we got it. Now all we have left to do is turn our gas on gently and light it. That was not gentle. <laughs> and we're done. Wasn't that insanely easy? It really was. And look, I know this might seem like one of those things that's like, why would we do this? Because that was so, that was so simple. But you know what, whenever I moved here, there were some lanterns here that one of them kind of worked and the other one didn't work. And I actually thought that it was a problem with the gas line and it was gonna be really expensive to fix. But it turned out that they were just so clogged up with soot that the gas could barely get through. And the truth is, you don't even have to clean these, you know, that often. You can do about once a year and that'll keep everything cleaned out and just as easy to clean as what we just did here. So the first time may be a bit of a doozy, but after that, if you do once a year, you'll be good. 
Thank you so much for joining me again today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do that now. Thank you so much to everyone who already has. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you again soon.